Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fabulous to have you here because today is part five of working on the Roman Gladius. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to bring you along with the day and I hope you enjoy. Now, Alec will let me run you through it. What I have done is I've done a drawing of the handle that we're going to go for, and I've got measurements off it. I also put some uh, steel blue on here, some steel blue dye, so we could then scribe our lines to know and then be able to take measurements from here, put them onto here so we know the thickness and width of the tang, so that then when we come to the piece of wood, we can then know exactly where it needs to be milled, to what size it needs to be milled, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the height gauge, we're going to scribe around all four sides the height, and then once we've got the height, we'll then be able to go into the mill, we're going to be able to bring it down, and we're going to be able to start cutting the slots for the guard, for the handle, and for the pommel. Okay, so we now have all of the pieces of wood for the handle side of this project all scribed up. You can see that I have scribed exactly where it is that I need to drill and mill, and I've given myself scribe lines on the outside so I can see the angles at which I need to set it. I've done this on all the pieces, and my hope is, and what I really think is true, is that I'm certainly not going to regret having taken the extra time to mark this up more precisely now. It's going to help me out as I then go on to doing the things that I really don't know how to do, which is milling this stuff out and, uh, and making it all neat and proper. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we have a lot of the milling done. We have the milling done here, we have the milling done there, we have most of the milling that I can do on this piece, but there isn't a hole that goes the whole way through. So what we're now going to do is we are now going to take a long drill bit, and you see the scribe lines, we're going to mount this so the scribe lines are straight up and down as opposed to the piece. And because the end mills aren't long enough and we can't go side to side, I'm simply, sim sim bleh, bleh, simply going to plunge the drill bit in at the right angle, change the angle to the next one, plunge the drill bit in as we move around and hopefully we don't snap too many drill bits this tends to snap drill bits uh, it's an unideal way of doing it but it at least roughs that hole out there so that then we can file chisel and shape it by hand at the vise to get the shape that we need inside there so now we have all these things ready for the hand filing and shaping of the holes that needs to be done and this is going to take a while. number one is where it needs to be and now we start on the next one but it is now lunchtime and I dare say Sam when you're watching this I think we should let you know Jamie I think you're giving him a run for his money eh yeah Sam your days are done they're numbered 
Ooh, there's some harsh words. But let me tell you, that looks like some delicious food. Thank you, Chef Jamie. Really appreciate it. So I have now eaten, and that meal was outstanding. That was bloody delicious. We have uh, previewed the episode. Jamie's been doing a great job in there editing. And now, I need to get back to work. So now we have the African Blackwood handle ready. We have our uh, guard ready. What we need to work on is the pommel. So this is gonna be pretty easy. If I did all this, I can definitely do this. Yes! Woohoo! We've done it again! Okay, so there we go. We're done with the Gladius handle. We're ready to unwrap this and shop. Okay, we're not done with the Gladius handle. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna start shaping all of this, and we're gonna be doing that in the grinding room. Now, when we're milling, it's not really making dust so much as it's making chips. When we're filing here, we've been using all these tools here at the vise, filing and cutting our way through. Not a massive amount of dust is created, but we're about to grind all this wood and sand all this wood into the shape that we need. We are about to make so much dust. It's gonna be good fun though. Shaping handles is something that I don't have a lot of experience with. So I'm gonna learn a lot doing this. I'm gonna enjoy myself a lot doing this. And Jamie is gonna complain about having to wear a respirator for the next hour and a half. Sorry, Jamie, apologies. That's what it's, it's, it's what it is, but let's go. I am just so excited about practicing things and getting better at these things. Do you remember, it was two months ago, I made my first ever sword and I was just telling Jamie this as we were off camera. Every 20 minutes, I would stop and think for five minutes about the next step. I was so nervous about all these different things because I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm so thrilled because the more I do these things, the more I get better at them and the more enjoyable it is. I was always terrified about making handles. Well, I just spent an hour and a half in there, just like the happiest person alive, twiddling away, working and shaping this wood, had the most fun ever, and I am just so thrilled because, that's the, 
I put it on the wrong way around. I am just so thrilled that we go for the second time about how this all looks. This is the first time I put it all together, so we're just gonna, you're gonna, you uh, little, whoa, look at that. That is so, so, so cool. That is so comfortable. What do you think, Jamie? Yeah, it's pretty good. Not Th bad. Nice, nice. Ready to go and kill some people. So, kill some, what is it, the Gauls? Do you remember that cartoon? Okay, with the massive guy and then the small guy. Tom and Jerry. I don't think it's Tom and Jerry. <laughs> but they're French and they're battling the Romans. I'm gonna Google it. Ah, here we go. Asterix. Asterix. You're, you know Asterix, right? Yeah, I remember. Absolutely, right? So, as, as I imagine Asterix is meant to be the good character, but th I imagine this Gladius is, is fit for killing Asterix. Sorry, Asterix. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been a lot of fun. I've been so excited. Learning things is such a blast. And thank you guys for joining me. I would love for you to make sure that you have watched part one. If you're here in the future, make sure that you've watched the next part. And of course, make sure you hit subscribe because we're making amazing videos six days a week. And it is such a blast. I love bringing you along for the journey. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a great one.